Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna to share with you this Beast Kingdom Alice in Wonderland Big Fig. It is a unique version of this figure. There are two variations. Um, I will show you the original one. This one is limited to 1,951. That is 1951, which is when this movie came out. It is the 13th uh, animated full-length movie by Disney. And uh, I really enjoyed this movie. As you know, they have uh, live action ones too with Johnny Depp, and that's actually a pretty decent movie. Um, I got to watch it in regular and 3D, and it was, it was, uh, it was something special. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, it's a very unique movie, but uh, this one comes with accessories, which we'll see. Um, this variation is uh, all hand painted, and the dresses are different on each one. Um, it kind of looks like a sky with, uh, I guess, a little bit of a splatter or stars. And um, I like this one a lot because it has purple on it. That's one of my favorite colors. Black and purple are my favorite colors. And um, I've been wanting to get one of these. They have both, uh, besides this figure, Beast Kingdom also makes a uh, rabbit one and the uh, Cheshire Cat. I absolutely love the Cheshire Cat version. Um, I'm hoping to get that at some point. Uh, I know it just sold out recently on their website, but you can get it other places. Um, with uh, so many companies now making uh, big figures, um, Beast Kingdom, I think, has some of the best ones I've ever seen. And uh, Disney used to produce figures themselves uh, way back in, I think it was the 90s or whatever. Uh, but as more companies came along and got the licenses, they started making more of these um, figures. I, I really like Beast Kingdom's products, as you'll uh, probably notice in many of my other videos. I have a lot of their, their uh, big figures. And uh, I just like big figures better than small stuff. I don't know. I, uh, it takes up a lot of room, but I, I just like them more. Um, and uh, so um, I'll stop yapping and we'll go ahead and check this out. And uh, I, like I said, I'll show you the original version and then this one that they uh, did a limited edition to. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out. I'm still working on cleaning up this room, which I do all my videos in, so you'll have to excuse any little mess that you uh, see. Um, I'm trying to make it so I can easily uh, share things with you in videos. I have, uh, basically I'm surrounded by um, figures everywhere, and uh, I wanna be able to uh, share them with you. And uh, I'm trying to be a clean person for once. I, I have ADHD, so I get started on things and I don't always finish them and I drive my wife nuts and myself. So uh, I'm actually trying a new medication to uh, get me more focused so I can uh, stop rambling and get things done. Um, as you probably know from other videos, I hate styrofoam. So um, touching this is gonna drive me nuts. But uh, let's go ahead, and uh, I know this makes people cringe watching this um, when I open things, but I promise you I won't drop it. And I have so many boxes of figures because you don't always think when you're collecting things, oh crap, if I keep the boxes, I'm not going to have any room to store all this stuff, which is kind of my issue. Unfortunately, um, we had someone come to our house that uh, did a yearly checkup on their air conditioner and um, they used an outside hose without asking us and um, it flooded into our basement because you're not supposed to use that one. But how would I know that someone coming to an air conditioner is gonna be using our hose? But uh, anyways, the water flooded into our basement and destroyed a lot of boxes. Um, luckily, that's all that was destroyed mostly. There was some other things, but um, luckily it was just a few boxes that got wrecked and not anything really important. So uh, let's go ahead and cut the tape off of this. The funny thing on the box, they actually recommend that you videotape when you open these, I guess so that you can prove uh, that you wanted a dimwit and broke something yourself and that it actually was um, 
something that happened in shipping or just some other reason. Um, uh, I just, I don't know why, it's always been a thing with me. I just, uh, and it's so noisy anyways. Uh, I'm gonna see what the scene is. Maybe I'll get this. <laughs> hours later. Alright. I do have some other big figs ordered for this year. At least I'm hoping they come out this year. Alrighty. As always, they come with a certificate of authenticity. Um, I don't know, I don't want to see what number I have yet, but there's the Certificate of Authenticity. They always come with these. And let's put this back in here for now. And it comes with accessories, as I mentioned. It says Fragile on it. And here's the little bottle that she drinks from. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't just go and start drinking something that I find somewhere or because it says eat me on it <laughs> but uh, that is the accessories I will show these closer to you in a moment and it looks like this is just in two pieces funny thing is I can already see on the base um, whoever was touching this the paint must have still been wet uh, the part that goes inside and you can see a fingerprint on it <laughs> that's kind of funny so here is the base it's all about the base and uh i already like it i see some uh, actual lavender or purple airbrush down here also that's very cool it's like almost a, um, oh, interesting. Looking at this, it actually looks screen printed and not airbrushed. You can see a texture pattern, like a crisscross really small and, uh, that's interesting. So here we go. There's the kind of creepy. There's just the base. And we'll go ahead and take Alice out of here. And then we'll have styrofoam everywhere. Kids look away. It's a decapitated Alice. So there is Alice. And as I mentioned, there's actually a fingerprint right there but you don't see that, so it's all good. And then we just put that in there. And, uh, oh, I, <coughs> excuse me. I'll show you a close up in a minute, but uh, it has um, a cup full of tea and it looks like tea. It actually looks wet from, I'm assuming it's a type of epoxy. So uh, let me move this box out of the way. My cat's all intrigued. Anything new they have to get into or look at. Alice has got styrofoam Ugh. all over her. So there is Alice. The stuff is everywhere and it clings to you. It's static. So, uh, like I said, it does have these accessories. I'm not sure exactly where they expect you to put them. I guess you just kind of put them next to her. Um, I'm probably just going to store these away um, unless I find... Um, Unfortunately, these display cabinets, not cabinets, but uh, I bought them at Lowe's. They're fairly cheap and they're metal racks, um, but, but there's slats in it so stuff could fall through. I want to get wood pieces cut so that it'll be a completely flat surface that I can start putting more figures on because they get a little wobbly sometimes. Um, but I do like them. They're, they're not expensive and they're uh, very easy to put together and move. So um, that is why I got them. I'll share with some other different ways I eat, or items I use to collect, uh, just in case you're ever trying to look for something for yourself. But uh, here she is, as you can see. 
Um, she has her nice blonde hair, and uh, I've always had a thing for blondes. My wife is blonde. Um, and it's, uh, it kind of fades into a reddish orange at the bottom. It's the same on both of them. Um, I'm so glad I got this figure. I kind of put it off because I'm not like a huge collector of Alice, but um, I, I saw this and it was really cheap. So um, I went ahead and ordered it. And uh, let's see, what number did we get? Out of 1951, we got 290. So that's kind of cool. It's pretty interesting. I always wonder, like, um, this was directly from Beast Kingdom. So I wonder um, what numbers they hold on to and what numbers go to other manu um, uh, manufacturers, for distributors um, who sell these items. You can even find this on Amazon and Target, and it's actually sold by Beast Kingdom, but through... Uh, um, Target and so on. So if you're looking for any of these, um, don't just go to Beast Kingdom. You can find them a lot of other places. And uh, sometimes they have really good sales, like recently. Um, I really like this dress. I'm gonna bring the camera over and show you a close-up. It's almost like an acid wash. It's really unique looking. And um, I really like it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you a close-up of everything. And uh, like I said, it comes with this cute little uh, eat me star. It's like a cookie, I guess. And then it comes with this little bottle. There you go. The tag doesn't say anything, I don't believe. No, nope, just a little tag. And uh, so yeah, let's uh, take a closer look. Okay, so here is the eat me cookie. Um, yes, I know bad things are going through your brain at the moment, but, uh, be an adult. <laughs> um, but anyways, that is very cute. Um, it's, it's solid. It's made out of probably the same material that, uh, Alice is made out of. And here is the little bottle. It has little specks on it. Even a variation from like a greenish to a, a blue. It's very cool. It even has a real cork um lid to it i love the attention to detail even the rope and it has this little tag which is made out of plastic because you can actually see through so it's like an acrylic painted so that's very cute you can kind of just when you display it put them like that i guess as you can see we have number 290 out of 1951 and uh Gonna go ahead and show you close up. As you can see, the base has purple tints to it also and little specks, just like a real mushroom. And you can see up under here, they even did the attention to detail. You can see like a real mushroom. Um, let me lean this a little bit here. You can see, so that's cool. And then it's also that way um, around here. And then we have the purple part, uh, the base of the mushroom. Very cool. And here is her dress. And if you, I'm gonna try to see if I can get an angle where you can see um, Actually, uh, let me move my light a little closer. Okay, so I'm trying to find an angle. If you look really closely, there's a cross hatching of a print. Um, actually, you can even see it in her shoulder. I'm not sure if you can really see on here, but there is... Um, a print instead of uh, being airbrushed. It's kind of uh, interesting however they did this. But uh, anyways, back to Alice. Here she has cute little shoes on. Let's see, do they have their flat on the bottom? And uh, there's another look at the pattern. And it is 
basically white, purple, and blue airbrushed on it, through a screen maybe, or some process. I'm not sure exactly. It almost looks like watercolors, but uh, it's not. It is some type of um, process. They're very uh, high tech these days um, on producing things. Um, it's crazy what they can now do with 3D prints. Um, you can get insanely detailed figures nowadays. But as you can see, there is her T. And uh, it looks wet like real water. As you can see, the move it kind of gives its own little reflection. That's really cool. And um, would you like a cup of tea and some styrofoam? And uh, <laughs> there it's cute. The... Uh, has this little base sitting on the uh, little plate. And um, let's look at Alice's face. As you can see on my mess in the background of stuff I'm trying to clean. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's Alice's face. Very nicely done. I really like this figure. It's really nice. I'm glad I got it. I wasn't going to um, at first, but then I changed my mind. And uh, so, yeah, this is a really good figure. Um, and her little out, um, as you can see, there's a little bit of a seam where it comes together, but um, you really don't really notice that unless you're looking for it. Um, it just looks like... Um, where, uh, actually, yeah, you kind of really don't take notice of it unless you're really looking for it. So, um, as I said, it's this, uh, it's a pretty thick, um, resin, I'm assuming these are made out of. Um, they did a great job. I, I really like this one. So, uh, I'm gonna have to find a place for it. Trying to organize is my issue. I always try to, um, I wish you could see this. I mean, maybe you can on, on you uh, have it on a bigger screen. It's just, uh, it's an interesting process. I really would like to see. Um, I have seen some techniques used for printing on figures, but uh, it would be kind of complicated the way I think to do this. So who knows? But either way, they did a great job. Um, I've seen other people post these and their, their designs are definitely different. Um, which is is really cool, and um, I I really love the way they uh, made this figure. And like I said, I'm not really a huge Alice fan, but I, I do like this figure a lot. And um, I think she'll go next to Snow White until I get um, the Witch Hag Lady, who comes along with this one. And uh, I'm gonna just show you a quick uh, spin around of this. And then that'll wrap up the video. I do have a bunch of other ones uh, coming up. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if I don't say so at the end, uh, I thank you for watching this video. And I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe and like the video. And uh, I will have some more for you soon. And I want you all to have yourself a magical day.